What's up, girly? Welcome to a new vlog. You guys were so sweet and nice in the comments of my last vlog that I literally just posted yesterday. Yesterday was Christmas, and today is the day after. And real quick, just thank you so much for all that support, but if you're new here, my name is Michael. My favorite color is pink, and we love shopping and just vlogging my life. I have a lot going on all the time. Life is very unexpected, as you can expect, but today we're just going to be going thrifting right now. I spent most of my morning just on my phone coming up with plans, and I just figured it's best to have, like, a chill day today and a chill day for like a couple days but then I'm going to start rearranging my bedroom. I don't know if I'll do that in this vlog or not. I don't know what I have planned for this vlog but I just went to go thrifting for tonight and I'm going to film that for TikTok. Anyways I just got dressed so I am ready to go. I'm going to spray some of my favorite Chanel perfume and oh my gosh look what I just noticed I did. So I apparently had this a lotion open. This is the lotion I used today. That would have dried out if I didn't just now notice it. Yeah, let me go ahead and put this up. But this is the Tree Hut like candy cane one and it's my favorite at the moment. I used the matching body wash this morning too. And then this one was with it, which is a really good one. The Champagne Toast at Bath and Body Works. I'm going to do like two sprays of that new ju juicy perfume I just got in the last vlog because it smells pretty good. I'm just going to do a couple of those and then I'm going to do a few more of my Chanel spray. Yeah, yeah, I get a lot of that going. My outfit's really basic today. I'm just wearing, like, the blue tracksuit that I had gotten at Victoria's Secret. My car is warming up. I don't know what happened here, but, like, my makeup looked like it had, like, rubbed off from, like, my lip gloss or something. I let my car warm up. It's a pretty cold out here. I still don't know which one I even want to go to. I want to go to the one farther away. I just don't feel like driving far. I was thinking about even going to the toy mall, but the toy mall closes at 5. I decided which pillars I want to go to, and I'm driving there. I also need to go to Ulta sometime soon just for a little shopping spree because I had gotten two gift cards for Ulta. Really, I got them for people and it ended up not happening. So I'm going on a shopping spree at Ulta. I'm not sure I'll do YouTube in this Peddler's Mall today. I don't know, maybe I'll do a little bit, but I'm going to be focusing on my TikTok too. And I hope my makeup isn't like ruined. I noticed it was like ruined around my lips. I don't know what that was. I guess like from um, putting on gloss messily or something i don't know what's up girl i just got here i'm going to start my tiktok intro there's also some people right next to me that's always always so awkward but it's okay what's up, girl, good lighting's facing this way i don't want them to think i'm like looking at them and recording myself Right now, all the good lighting on the TikTok camera right here is only on this side of my face. So I want to, like, pick up my phone and turn it this way. But there's people right there. Oh, my gosh. And, of course, they're loading, like, a kid into the car. So I'm just going to put on some lip gloss first before I do anything. They probably see me talking to myself, but at least it's... I was going to say, at least it probably looks like I'm talking on the phone. But it probably don't, because they probably see the camera on my dash. <sighs> Yeah, girl, we're on FaceTime right now, me and whoever, and I'm just getting on some gloss before I go into the store. I'm waiting for you to pull up or whatever, you know? I'm not here by myself, just waiting to record myself. They're doing the most. What's up, girl? Let's go there thing at the Peddler's Mall. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what I found in there. I literally was thinking about this like before I got there and was manifesting something like this. It is the Princess Annalise from Princess and the Popper Barbie doll brand new in box. Oh, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. But this is on eBay for like over a hundred to like two hundred dollars. Like brand new in box like this. And this one was only 70. And I'm so excited. It's so cute. This is my favorite Barbie movie ever, Princess and the Popper. And now I feel like I have to go home and watch it tonight. But I literally, as I was picking a Peddler's Mall, remember? I think I said, I was like, I even debated going to a toy store. But I just wanted to find something like this so bad. I cannot believe I did. I just, I feel like I was talking the other night with my online friends. How like, I want to order something like this from eBay. But I didn't want to spend that type of money on one Barbie doll that's really just going to sit there. And I was like, I'm sure just one day I'm going to find it in stores. And ah! I can't believe I actually found it. This is so cute. Like, brand new in box. I don't know if she still sings. Probably not. It says, try me. I sing, but nothing happens. Oh, yeah, there's a button. Nothing happens. Batteries have for sure died. I wonder if she'll do anything whenever you pull her out. Probably not, but she's just so cute. Perfect condition. I was really close to buying one on eBay, too, for, like, almost 80, but it wasn't 
brand new in box, come with everything, and it had like a tear in the dress. Oh my god, I'm so happy I found this. I also found a couple more things. I got this Daydara Funko Pop from Naruto. As you can see, it was $13. We got $13. And what else did I get? I got this book right here. This book was only a dollar. I just thought it was so cute. It's called A Little Princess. And really the back got to me. It says, if I'm a princess in rags and tathers, I can be a princess inside. So I just thought that was like really cute, whatever that means. And it's a whole book, like silver edges. I don't think anything's written in it, but it's so fancy looking. Like, look at it. Really excited for this, only a dollar. So what else? I got one more thing. I got this Scooby Doo Poppet. It was just a pink little poppet. This was one of the first things I found, so of course I was going to buy it. <laughs> I'm going to go home and I'm going to open this Barbie doll and we're also going to pop in Princess and the Popper because I've seen that movie like 10 times, but I need to see it again. I'm opening her up, she comes with Serafina. I love that, so cute. But all this like, um, all these little rubber bands. <laughs> they just like break because it's so old. I just thought that was really funny and kind of wanted to show you real quick The way it just like falls apart. There's another piece on her. I think see that. Yeah, right there Come on, she's so cute that stuff on her even left like a little bit sticky But I think I got most of it off, but she's got like all this stuff that comes with her now I really need Erica. I want Erica so bad, but like one of her shoes came off but How cute is she? Hang on. Let me take her out and then we'll get the movie popped in I ordered this one from Princess Charm School just because she was more on the cheaper side and I wanted one of those like OG Barbie movie Barbies and low-key I was trying to get this one first to us all how expensive she was and so then I ordered her but now I got her. I'm so happy her shoe just fell off. It's a little bit loose but we're gonna go put in the movie now. Let's go get the movie and let's uh, put it in. I'm getting her shoe back on. Girl, you're not Cinderella. Put your shoe back on your feet. She also has like her button on her, but she doesn't work. So I think you can get batteries and you can make her sing. So that would be fun. Let me know if I should put, try to get the batteries for her. I have these DVDs right here, but I'm not gonna use that one. I'll show you the one I'm gonna use. I also have that one, but I'm not even using that one. I'm using the one from this little collection because it's like the most new. Like I bought this when it was brand new and it has a lot of like the classic movies. Barbie pajamas for the win. As you know, my Christmas tree does that weird thing, so the light's gonna like keep moving up. I, I don't know how to prevent that, but um, here's the collection. Obviously, we're just putting in Princess and the Popper, so go ahead and pop it in, and we'll let my new Barbie doll watch her movie that she stars in. I gotta move these guys to the side. Oops, didn't mean to knock you down, Sarda. And then take out whatever was last in, Pitch Perfect 2. That's kind of funny. And then get this out and let's go ahead and let's set these back up. I like how Boruto's underneath Naruto and I like how Sarda is underneath Itachi. Hi, it's me, Barbie. Welcome to Barbie as the princess and the pauper. Let's start this movie. <clears throat> Voice is a little scratchy. This is my favorite movie, so I'm just gonna SMOKE during it and watch my little new princess Barbie doll watch it. You know, she needs to see like her work on the big screen. Now I need the Erica doll so bad. I just think it's so awesome that the doll I found was the one I literally wanted to buy from eBay, but it's so expensive. Ah! ah. It's a temporary setback. All right, I just made some tomato soup and I made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and whenever I was, I like pulled out the little knife, I slit my finger and it started bleeding and it kind of still stings, so that really sucks. Like halfway through the movie, well, maybe a little bit over, but I love this part. This is my favorite part when she's like pretending to be the princess and she's taking a bath, the song that she sings. Here you go. Way to go. When you chase your tail, you're enchanting. When you're panting. When you wail, you're a rover, Romeo. There is not one hair. I love you. Though we are as bad as That's not very good. Good morning. <coughs> Ooh, that sounded horrible. I haven't talked all morning. 
Good morning, girly. So I just woke up. I still have my retainers in, but today is the first day that I am not going to work. So all my old co-workers are working now, probably yelling at my kids, and I got to sleep in, so that was so nice. But I don't have, like, any plans for today. <laughs> I'm like, I... It's nice to sleep in, but I don't really have any plans for today. I really... I said, said this in the last vlog. I just wanted to take a couple days to not, like, stress myself out. But here, real soon, I don't think today, but probably before this week is over, I'm going to start by um, reorganizing this bedroom. So, I can't show you everything right now because I have a pew pew right beside me, so I don't want it to, like, get in frame. Just my underwear. <laughs> but, um, so my bed's right here up against the wall like this. And let me just kind of show you without showing you that pew pew right there. So, you see how it's like this? I want my bed to go like this, so I'm going to put the head right there, and then have it going like, I'm trying not to show the thing that's on my nightstand, this way. So hopefully it doesn't block the door too bad, we're going to see what that's like. There's also a ton of stuff under my bed, so we're going to have to like clear that out. But I want the bed to go like this way, so that hopefully I can put a desk right there. And I think it would make the room a little bit bigger, and it would give me like an area to work at. Yeah, the bed's a little bit messy, this is what I look like, and I'm just going to wake up for a little bit until I'm ready to eat some breakfast. And decide what to do today like what should I do I I don't know I feel like I had a plan and I just woke up and I can't think about it so let me go brush my teeth let me get myself together and ready and then gosh look at this hair then we'll think about it so far I spent all my morning cleaning so the house is looking super duper clean right now and like I mopped and I sprayed everything down with like disinfectant so it literally sm smells so clean Sorry, I can't even talk right now, but I am really hungry. Look, I ran out of cinnamon rolls at the very end, but I made some turkey bacon. I made some cinnamon rolls while I was finishing up my cleaning, and I finished that perfect timing. So I still look like this because I'm going to shower after I eat, and then I'm probably going to take down all my Christmas decorations today and do a little TikTok, just like taking that down, taking down the tree. The lights I noticed last night are like dimming, especially up top. I mean, you know it's going to do that glitch thing for you anyways, but... I don't know why. I've had the same lights in the same tree for like two or three years, so maybe that's why, but next year I'll definitely get new lights just so it doesn't do that like glitch on YouTube. But I'll pack up all my Christmas stuff, like save it for next year, and then I just like clean my house so I can really get into like reorganizing or like doing this bedroom because it's still like this bedroom is the one room that's stressing me out, which is like how much I've got going on over here. Like this is a lot of the stuff that I don't show on TikTok. But I even, like, took the time to clean that toilet. I still need to clean, like, the sink area in there before I really show it off. Here's another one of those corners that's, like, stressing me out. But other than that, it's, like, really clean in here. And I'm really happy. And once again, they knocked over that Santa, so I can't wait to take him out. But I'm just going to make a plate. I'm going to eat for a minute, and I'll let you know what I'm doing after. What's up, girly? I just door dashed some um, KFC. I'm really excited to eat. But I want to show you real fast. I took down the Christmas tree and... All the Christmas decorations except for these Christmas lights just because I'm kind of like vibing with them. Not ready to take them down yet. Not quite yet. But I just got my DoorDash food and I hate when the drink is like, can you see that? It's like not all the way to the top. I'm like, did you take a sip of that in your car? I'm just, I don't know why I'm so paranoid of that. I'm doing a lid inspection. No, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. I don't see no lip mark, so let me tell you everything that I got. <laughs> this was supposed to be a sweet tea. And it tastes like a Coke. <laughs> or a Dr. Pepper or something. I noticed it after a few good chugs. Hope the rest of my food's right or I might have to be getting a little money back. I got a spicy chicken sandwich. Let's get this camera back a bit. Spicy chicken sandwich. I got a little thing of corn. And I got a little thing of... Oh wait, this is the corn. So this must be the mac and cheese. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it looked corny. I also got a biscuit and it was supposed to come with honey, but it did not. At least I got some ranch and KFC sauce, but I wish they came with honey because like they're dry without your honey. Not like in the package. No, there's just no honey. Honey, there ain't no honey. So let's open up my sides real fast and then we'll check out the burger. 
here we go. I need like a ring light or something. Like not nothing too bright, but they oh wait, yeah they did. I was about to say they didn't give me a utensil, but yes they did. Try the corn real fast before I open the mac and cheese. It's good. It tastes like corn. Not the warmest though. And then this mac and cheese. I love their mac and cheese. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's been better some other times, but it's pretty good. Let's see what this sandwich looks like. Oh my gosh, it looks really crispy. It's got the spicy stuff. It, this is like a really big patty. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like heart-shaped, the chicken. <laughs> and then it's got pickles on the bottom. Yeah, this looks really good. Here comes the cats. <laughs> Can't get down, please. Let me know if you want to see me eating more, like do a mukbang or something, because that's what I started the channel, and I was starting to have a little bit of fun with it. <laughs> I would be down to like get better lighting and get a big meal and just sit down and eat with you. Imagine that for a whole video. Okay, I finished eating, just been watching the 100, but I want to show you my Minecraft world that I got going on with my online friends because there were a couple people who commented that they were interested in seeing it and I think it's so, so cute. So let me load it up and I'm going to show it to you. My name on Minecraft too, it's a vintage pink because I just like thought that was really cute whenever I picked it out. I don't know where I got the idea from, but vintage pink and my minecraft skin is really cute too i used to be obsessed with joey graceffa whenever i was like 13 and like 2013 around that time he had like a vlog channel and he would have his minecraft channel and i remember they both did like really good and so i would try to do like minecraft channels and i would try to do vlog channels and back then nothing ever worked until i got like a little bit bigger on tiktok okay let me Walk outside my house and then I'll show you. Okay, can you see it? Can you see my Minecraft world? So, this is my house right here. You see how cute it is? I mean, I'm not very creative. It's very, like, boxy, but the outside's pretty cute. Whenever you go in, there's my kitchen right here. I got a cat on the counter. I got my horse with diamond horse armor and I got my dogs. And this is, like, my living room kitchen area. Right here's the potty. It's kind of tight. You go upstairs, and this is just my, like, bedroom, like, where I go to sleep so that the mobs don't kill me. And then I got this great view over here. But I'm not the only one in this world. It's, like, me and my three online friends. So, Ryan and Ishmael and Ash Ashley. Ryan and Ish, they're both on TikTok. We've, like, all sent each other packages. But this is, like, my top balcony. And if I jump down, here I am. This is a bunch of, like, I got a bunch of good stuff. You take the path over here, and this is just, like, our little fountain. And we have, like, gardens, and there's a little hidden stuff down there. There's, like, an enchantment table. So there's my pink house. And then over there, that staircase, kind of, like, behind this mountain. It's hard to see. That's Ish's house back there. Like, really big house. And then over there, we got, like, some animals, like, farm animals. This is Ryan's house, just really big, and there's, like, nothing in it. We're all on top of this really big mountain, just because it was, like, kind of cute, and it had all these pink trees, so that was, like, the inspo. This is Ashley's house. She's got, like, the cutest house. Whenever I was younger, I would watch a lot of, like, Minecraft series, and so I kind of learned a lot, and it was really, really fun to me. Oh, yeah, I didn't even get to show you my skin, so look. So this is my chest room, and this is my Minecraft skin. I can't take off my pants right now. 
because they have um, Curse of Binding, so that just means you like can't take them off unless you die. And I don't plan on dying, but I just have like a pink outfit, and I think I'm wearing like shorts or pants, I don't remember. But look at my eyes, they're like a little bit red. I just wanted to show you that real quick, because I thought it was really cute, and it's something really fun and like special to me that I do. So, if you can relate, or you want to play, like, uh, let me know. What do you play if you play Minecraft? Like, do you play on servers? Because... I need to know what other people play on. People on TikTok were like, oh no, why'd you take down your decorations so early? Wait till after the new year. It's just because like here within a day or so, I plan on, I want to start like rearranging and decluttering. I kind of want like a new vibe in here, like a new feel. It's going to be new year, new me, you know? But I'm probably going to chill for the rest of the night and I'm going to get on Minecraft whenever my online friends are ready to get on. They're not even ready yet, but they said they should be ready in about like 20 minutes. So I'll probably play Minecraft for the rest of the night. And then wake up early because I have a few plans. I honestly forgot what they were. I'm so bad at that. But I set two reminders in my phone to do them tomorrow. So I think one was I want to just run to the grocery store. I need like a few things. I'm tired of like um, frozen chicken fries. And so that's why I ordered food tonight. But tomorrow I want to go pick up a few things. And um, what else was it? I have those Ulta gift cards. So I might do a TikTok like come with me shopping at Ulta. And I don't know what I'm going to get yet from there. I have to think more about that. But I just need to feel like pretty productive. So whenever I was filming my video taking down all the Christmas stuff, my mom called me and she was like, why'd you quit your job? She found out and she was not happy about it. And that's why I didn't want to tell her. And I was right to not want to tell her because of course she didn't understand. I was reading the comments on my last YouTube video and the comments are like really nice, like hundreds of nice comments. And I read like one bad one, like one really bad one, but that was it, just one. And so far, now only two people have told me bad things about me quitting and one of them was my mom, so that kind of sucks, but... I just told her I guess I'm going to have to like prove her wrong because I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I already made the decision and I can't get just motivated now. I can't like let anything ruin what I have planned. I'm doing a photo shoot I think in like two weeks. Did I mention that already? My stepsister takes photos and she is doing a photo shoot for like my aunt's dance company I think and she invited me to come take some photos just for the fun of it and so I was like I'm gonna be really nervous like hit sweaty type nervous but I should probably do it because if I, I want to work with brands like I can't be nervous working with my stepsister you know so I'm just gonna do it. That's in like two weeks though, so that's gonna be like a couple vlogs away. But I might even go shopping and try to find like a new outfit or something. Something I ain't gonna sweat through. <laughs> like the anxiety sweats are bad with me. Just to be for real. But um, the outfit I even wore today, just like the black t shirt, pink shorts is cute. Like even though it's like cold out, I might bring an outfit that's like shorts. I really like shorts. I like dressing in the summer more than I do in the winter. I feel like there's just more cute clothes that are comfy for me in the summer. But I've also got my Scooby-Doo Band-Aid. I had a pack of Scooby-Doo Band-Aids and I told you, right, I cut it on the Paris Hilton knife. I didn't really show it to you because, I mean, I don't really like seeing cuts and bloods. Like, I, it wasn't that deep though. It just, it wasn't nothing serious to show, but it was like a slice and I cut the skin so that I didn't have to feel the skin moving up and down whenever I was like moving it but um so I like cut it with my tiny tiny scissors and did that because it was like kind of red but it'll heal. I don't know how many more days I should let this vlog go on for. Maybe I should like hmm I have no clue. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it tomorrow. I'll think about when I started it and when I should end it tomorrow but Maybe I should just do like a couple days and then post it and then a couple days and then post it. Something like that for now. Good morning, girly. I woke up a little bit sad because it's like my second day not going to work, but I pulled myself together. I got cute and I got some plans. So I'm going to go to Ota now and spend that $100 in the gift cards that I had gotten. And then I'm going to 
So I'll do a TikTok for that. And then I'm going to just go to Meijer because I have a few things I need to pick up. I'm really tired of e eating frozen chicken fries. So I need to get some new stuff. And I can get stuff I can cook now that I have more time. I'm going to be doing like a lot more cooking. But I want to show you my outfit because I feel really cute today. So I'm wearing those same skinny jeans again. And did I wear this top last time? I hate how it's kind of, you can really see it on camera. I kind of like see through. It's also got a stain right there. But we're just going to like ignore that but it's still like so cute i mean i don't look too thick or nothing but it's okay like i'm cute no matter what i'm also switching to this purse because i feel like it just looks really cute with this outfit and then i'm gonna wear my adidas shoes my house is just so clean right now because i cleaned it yesterday so i'm really loving it oh yeah let me just show you a bit more like of uh, where i took down all the christmas decorations so it's feeling like really open over here again and i really like that and it's motivating me to like declutter some more like I want to declutter my kitchen a bit like there's just so much up there and my cabinets are like full so let me show you real fast they're just like full of cups and some dishes but like tons of cups I don't use so I want to get rid of like so much but obviously a couple of those I would never get rid of so it's pretty clean over here but my cart like my little side cart needs cleaned off and then I got this little area which is of course cute but my bedroom I'm going to start on soon I've already told you my plans on that I also made this look kind of cute whenever I took down Christmas stuff. I just want to take all the toy stuff and, like, take it to the room. I'll have, like, some Funko Pops out here, like, my absolute favorites. But for the most part, I want to get most of them out of here and put them in the toy room. So, like, I'm not getting rid of everything. It's just, like, the toy room will be really full. But I also want to get rid of some stuff in there. Like, I have some toys that are just random. But anyways, I'm happy that I'm feeling really cute today. And, like, my outfit, my makeup, everything. So we're going to head to... Um, Ulta now. I'll potty before I go. Head to Ulta. I'm actually gonna get something from Panera on my way there because it's like right next to it and I'm really, I haven't ate nothing all day so I'm a little hungry, a little thirsty. I'll probably just get like a croissant and a drink and eat the croissant real fast but let's um get into that. Oh my gosh, I never get a thumbnail pic and this is kind of cute so maybe I should like pose for a second. Did you hear my stomach? <laughs> was any of that cute though? We'll, <clears throat> we'll have to see. Hey, I'm pulling up to Panera. There's nobody in the drive there. I was like, are they even open? Cause like the Chick-fil-A next door is packed. I don't know what my drink is called. So I hope I see it on the menu. I can't think what it's called. Green tea, it's a green tea refresher. It's a green tea something. I, I think I see it, but what's it called? Thanks for choosing Panera. Do you have a rewards number? Uh, no. Yeah, it's no problem. What can I get for you? Um, I want to get that green tea refresher. I'm sorry, I can't think what it's called. The green passion? Yes, that's it. Not the smoothie, the drink, right? Yes, you're right. Uh, medium or large? A medium. What else can I get for you? Can I also just get, like, a croissant? We don't carry croissants any longer. Okay. Um. <laughs> I, I do have a, a chocolate croissant pastry, though. I'll take that. You want to try it? Uh huh. All right. Yeah, and that's it. All right. Looks like your total is seven fifty. You can come on around. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. She's so nice. Seven fifty. I have a gift card, a fifty dollar gift card. I'm gonna just try to use that first. Oh my god. No, I hate like when they see I'm recording. It's like I'm not recording you. I'm just recording me. That wasn't mean, right? Who did that? Who honked? I wish my camera was a little bit higher. Why do I get so nervous? For no reason. Okay, I have this gift card I want to try. What's that? I said I have that gift card I want to try. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, awesome. I got you all set up. I'm gonna give you a straw for that green tea. Okay. Have a fantastic day, alright? Thank you, you too. Okay, the cameras, he was cute. <laughs> That's so awkward, a cute guy watching me film myself. I mean, you just gotta own it. This is like my full-time life now. I'm gonna park right here for a second while I eat my chocolate cro croissant. 
So if he's really, truly meant to be my husband, he'll come out. <laughs> it can be his number. Why am I still in drive? Put this bitch in park. He's probably like, um, oh my gosh, that cute blondie is just sitting to eat his croissant real quick. Like, maybe I should go out there, marry him before he leaves. I make a lot of references to getting married. I'm joking, but in case you didn't know, I was previously engaged, so I started to plan my wedding once upon a time. Made with love. Yeah, that guy was pretty cute. The way he looked at me made me think, oh, he thought I was cute too. Or I'm just like super delusional. I'm trying to take a picture, a cute picture of my stuff. I like to say that my story needs to eat before I eat. Ew, well, that's my steering wheel a little bit dirty. It's okay. Hopefully no one will notice. I'm getting steamy in here. <laughs> I choked. I always pick the most messy food to eat right before I go shopping. Huh? What? Oh. Okay. I just got back in the car. I want to show you guys what I got real quick. I only spent like 80 something of the $100, but I got some cool stuff. So I got this Mac Fix Plus because I have one from TJ Maxx. It's like a weird coconut scent though. And I really like using it in the middle of my makeup routine to just kind of like keep my face not so powdery because I use mostly powders. But I also got this It Cosmetics um, Mascara Superhero is what it's called. I'm so excited to try that. I also got this little lash separator, so hopefully like my lashes, they were really badly sticking together today. And the lash separator I have from like Ross does not like get in between my lashes at all. I also got this powder just because it's something I need and that's everything that I got. And I still have like a little under $20 on that gift card so I can go back and get something that I need one day. But I'm going to head to Meijer. I'll probably pee whenever I first get to Meijer. My bladder is really small. I'm gonna go to Meijer and then I'm just gonna do another little TikTok getting like a few groceries, just a few necessities because I didn't grocery shop last week. And then I'm gonna go home and chill for a little bit, edit my videos. So I'll see ya when I see ya. I just got back home. I'm out of breath because I just carried all those groceries in. Really, the water is what killed me. But I'm just gonna set up the camera and I'm gonna put away my stuff and I'll probably play some music like I did. I think in the last vlog I did that. So let me just make sure it's straight for ya. All right, let's start putting this stuff away. happy fridge it's pretty full all those drinks up there like the sodas I kind of like want to get rid of like find a neighbor maybe who wants them because I'm not going to drink them I also have a lot of juices like that have been here for a while but it's really hard when you live alone oh wait I forgot about these cold things I forgot to put away my apple slices really hard when you live alone to make sure that you eat everything and I mean look at how much is in here I need to clean out this freezer too I'm gonna work on deep cleaning my house and then I'll work on this fridge and freezer again. But I cleaned them real good a while back. I'll put away my dry things off camera so I don't gotta do another little sped up montage. But then I'm gonna chill, um, edit my videos, and post them and decide what to eat tonight. For some reason, a sandwich with just um, hot Cheetos on it sounds so good. So we'll see what I decide to do. This is what I got going on. I'm making a sandwich and I just had a hot Cheeto for like the first time in forever like months and boy i'm about to relapse i love some hot cheetos they just don't always love me so um 
See, I don't know what to do. So it's like, do you want to see the food or do you want to see my face while I make it? I'll hold it up like this actually because look. I need, I wish I had something for you sitting on. This is why I need a taller tripod. But I have oven roasted turkey breast and honey roasted turkey breast. I need to figure out real, real quick which one I want for my sandwich. I feel like when I was with my ex, we would buy stuff like this and Gosh, I don't know which one I liked better. I don't remember. I feel like I liked this one, the oven roasted, but we're just gonna try it. I like how it's like easy peel. Like I can barely get this thing. <laughs> so I was also thinking I'll probably end this vlog tomorrow just so I can start like a New Year's vlog. Cause I was thinking of even going out for New Year's. I kind of want to get more into like going out. Just because if I want like brands to invite me on trips and stuff, I need to get like less antisocial. That's good. I kind of don't even want to try the other one right now. The honey roasted ham. But I don't want to disappoint you. I'll try a little piece, but I have a feeling it's just as good, but like a different type of good. Mmm, smells really good. I like it. It kind of reminds me, this is ham, not turkey. I don't know what I got. No, they're both turkey. Yeah, that's really good too, but I'm really vibing with just like the kind of original. So that's what I'm gonna make right now. I'm gonna make two sandwiches. I haven't had just like sandwiches in so long, but I've been eating PB&Js lately and I'm addicted. I definitely, I'm going to get a tripod. I'm gonna order that tonight because my stepmom had gifted me um, an Amazon gift card, like she sent it to me via text, and I can use that money. It was $75. I can use it to get me a nice tripod for my vlogging camera because I have a really nice tripod for my phone. I just recently got a new one, but not for my vlogging camera. I have this one that came with it, but it's just a little. I'm like really hungry. I'm gonna snack with some hot Cheetos while I'm making this. All right, let's lay down the cheese first and then we'll separate the turkey. So yeah, in case you've never made a sandwich or you don't know how, you just get basically like two pieces of bread. I got four because I'm gonna make two of these sandwiches, so make however many you want. If you would like cheese, put cheese. It can be any kind of cheese. I got the cheapest Meyer brand American cheese because I don't need nothing too fancy when it comes to my sandwiches. Like I'm fancy in some areas, but like some areas you just don't really have to be. So I grew up poor. Like I know how to um, budget and like save, but that doesn't mean I always want to because I don't have to nowadays. I'm not poor no more. We out the trenches. I say we out the trenches while I'm in a trailer making sandwiches, but it's by my choice, you know? I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. Well, maybe, but. <laughs> I'm like, I could be eating hot wings in a luxury, um, luxury house. I visited my stepmom's house the other day and it was so nice and just like so modern. And it's more like an apartment than a house. And it was just like, oh my gosh, I kind of wish I lived somewhere like that. I'm going to wrap this up real good. I love my trailer. It'll just never be modern, you know what I mean? And it's only so big. Cat, get down. Cat. I hate when she meows like that, because she meows like she's sad. But get off my counter. Get away from my Cheetos. Stop it. You're gonna have to just deal with it. Just be sad. <sighs> Breaks my heart. So I got my sandwiches, but I haven't done the final step yet, which is put the hot Cheetos on the sandwich. I'm gonna pick out like all the nice long ones and I'm gonna put them on the sandwich. I'm also gonna put a pile of Cheetos just on my plate so I'm gonna eat them. I don't eat Cheetos often because like the red dye and the freaking um, just spiciness it depends on what it is. But some spicy things don't really agree with me. So, 
every time I do have hot Cheetos, I'm like, I'm about to relapse. And now that I don't work anymore, I'm like, I can go poop whenever I want to. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It'd probably be cuter if the cheese is on top, but you can't see that the cheese is on the bottom. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna dump some Cheetos on the little side. Try to get that straight back how it was. Just a little extra Cheetos for good luck. And then I can shut this back. I'm sitting down now, I'm ready to eat. Like I said, I'll probably end this vlog tomorrow. And let me know also, I was thinking this morning, if you wanna see like a makeup routine, I would do a literally a whole just fun little video showing you my daily makeup routine. Cause it's not much, but it takes about 15, 20 minutes. Like it's kind of a quick daily routine. So maybe you could learn something new, but I'm going to eat, watch the 100, which I've seen 100 times, but I just need a comfort show right now. I'm not ready to start something new quite yet. I mean, I'm ready for like a new chapter in my life. Like I feel like I'm clearing out my house because I want something new. I want to feel new, but in terms of a show to watch, no. <laughs> if that makes sense, you know, but I'm gonna go eat. Good morning, girly. I skipped my dentist appointment today. Did I mention that I had a dentist appointment? I don't even remember, but it was really early, so I just scheduled it. It's gonna be in like a week and a half. It's just a cleaning, so it's not like a big deal to push it off just like a week or so. Like, I had scheduled it six months ago, so, like, that's when I had my job. So, I thought I was gonna, like, you know, request off this whole day or something to get my teeth clean, like, make it a day, or I don't know what I planned, but I didn't plan on waking up real early for it. So, I just rescheduled it for a later time and a later date. Today, though, what am I about to do? I feel like I came on here ready to say a bunch of stuff and then my mind went blank. Currently at Best Buy waiting for someone to come help me, but I'm looking at this printer right here. And it says for total members, it's $70, and I am a total member. So I think I'm going to get this one so I can do a 2024 vision board. I don't even think I told you. I'm coming here to get this. Then I'm going to go to, the, like, the dollar store and get a poster board or a big frame. Like, a photo frame might even be cuter. There's a lot of people in here they are so busy. I'll see you later. Just got home and I kind of need help. It's also funny because look, as soon as I got home, like that bodysuit needs to come out. But I, this is the printer that I bought in case you're wondering. I'm just using it so I can make a vision board for 2024. I also bought some picture frames just because I was like, you know what? I got a printer. Why not? But I got the flu and I got this huge, let me get this thing off of it. This huge poster board right here. And I was going to put my vision board on that, but now I'm kind of wishing I went to Walmart and got like a frame, like a picture frame. So I'm still thinking the roads are really busy right now, but maybe I could go back out to Walmart. I still got to figure out how to even get this printer set up. And I also um, wanted to pack up my friends, my online friends boxes. So at least get them packaged, ready to be sent out like tonight so that maybe I can send them out tomorrow or this weekend or something. But I really wanna make a vision board tonight or tomorrow night just before like the new year. Probably tomorrow night, but I wanna get it all ready tonight and I need, I need to learn how to use this printer. I've never really owned a printer like growing up. I, I don't know how to use it. I'm like stuttering. Did I stutter? Yes. But I gotta like figure out how to do it and yeah, that's gonna be so fun. Just got home, I need to chill for just a minute and then I can get into it. I'm also really excited. I wanna start rearranging this room really soon, probably within the next vlog. Start rearranging my bedroom just because I wanna put a desk in there so bad and I could put like my printer on the desk and sit there and have my laptop there. That's just where I kinda of wanna like edit videos without, unless I wanna sit on the couch, but sometimes I get tired of sitting on the couch like all the time. I also don't want to sit at my desk in the clean room because that's all the way back there and I want to be all the way up here at the front of the house. So I'm excited to do some new stuff soon and just see what I'm really fully capable of. Currently trying to set up my printer right now. So this is what it's looking like. It's cute with its little purple glow, but I have to install the app for it. And then it didn't come with paper. I think that the first one, so I try to I started to look at one that I thought was the same one and it was like the same price but that one wasn't on sale and this one was I don't know much what the difference was but this one does not come with paper so I'm gonna have to go to Target tonight because I'm gonna get paper for it and then I'm also gonna get a frame for like my vision board instead of using that big poster board I'm gonna get just like an actual picture frame that I can display and it will be cute I'll probably just put it in my room because I'm about to get my room a makeover and so I've been saving stuff like for the walls but I do have this paper that I had gotten I'm not sure if it works but when I googled it just said like as long as your printer 
can print ink jet paper photos you have to make sure you turn it on that setting make sure it's not like regular setting make sure you turn it on that and it should work as long as this one does it because i checked the other one i was looking at and it, it did but they were pretty much like the same printer same price but one was on sale and one wasn't it's taken forever for this app to install so we'll just see what that's looking like very girly i just made these like fried pickle things so i was trying to make like bacon wrapped fried pickle ignore this one i just ate the bacon off of it it wasn't the best thing ever they were like pretty good but i feel like you need to be using regular bacon and i just use turkey bacon so it's just like really soft but I like the way the pickles taste when they're warm. They're like warm and juicy. But I want to go ahead and end this vlog here so that I can go ahead and start fresh tomorrow. I decided that I'm going to go to Walmart tomorrow, like first thing in the morning. I'm in for the night and I'm going to buy a little um, picture frame for my vision board. And I'll also make that tomorrow too for YouTube. So I want to get this video edit it and post it tonight since I don't really have like a bedtime I need to stick to. I mean, I don't like staying up too late. I can stay up like pretty late just working on this video at least till I get it posted so that's what I want to do I want to post this video tonight and I want to start fresh tomorrow and then we are just like two years I mean two days away from the new year so that's really fun I honestly don't even remember everything that happened in this vlog but I hope you had fun with me like I always have fun with you and please leave a like and comment and please ring the notification bell as always and I'll see you in the next vlog bye girly